Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to see that how we can publish our sensor value or some random value from our Arduino to OPC DA server. And we have some third party OPC DA client which can read those values. So here is the diagram of what we are going to do. So here is our Arduino and Arduino will publish data to our Arduino OPC DA server and it will publish data serially to our OPC DA server and our OPC DA client will connect to this OPC DA server and it will read those data. So first of all, we have to load our sketch into Arduino and then after we have to set up our Arduino OPC DA server and then after we can read our data in OPC DA Explorer. Okay, so let's do this. Now, let me open my Arduino sketch. So this is our Arduino sketch. I'll paste the link of our GitHub repository in the description of this video. And you have to download this library OPC. Okay, so once this library is download and installed in your Arduino IDE, you can use this code. So you can see here, I have imported the library here, declaring the OPC object. Now creating one function which will return random values from this to this okay after that uh, we are setting up the uh, our opc serial and we are adding one item random tag and the item will be like we can only read that value from our opc da client and data type of that random tag will be opc integer and whatever value we are going to publish is coming from this callback function and in the loop we are continuously running uh, our opc serial commands okay so this is our arduino code and which i'm going to upload in my arduino uno so let me compile and upload so okay we will press on upload to upload this code into our arduino so while uploading i have to press uh, reset button okay so it is done uploading now as per this diagram we have to set up our arduino opc server so we will minimize everything and here we have arduino opc server we have to open this arduino opc server it will give you pop up three times so you have to click here three times okay and then after you have to click here you have to double click on this so you can see arduino opc server and we have to go to configuration and our arduino is providing that data serially so that is why we have to make one configuration we, uh, and that is for arduino serial so we have to click on arduino serial to make configuration here we have to select the com port and we have to set a board rate and we have to save configuration so once you save the configuration you will find one config file here so let me save this configuration so you can see arduino opc server dot ini one configuration file is generated so let me edit so you can see that configuration file here okay now we have to register our arduino opc da server so let me close this one and let me click on register.bat and let me run this as an administrator okay so our arduino opc server is now registered in our system so we have to open it again and you can see our arduino opc server is up and running okay now we have to go to our opc da client which is my dopc explorer and let me click here new server now we want to connect with opc da server of arduino so we have to click on com and then we have to click on find and it will find the register opc server in my system so you can see here opc server for arduino and we will press ok and then you can see here uh, let me expand it opc server for arduino okay so we will expand it then it will fetch the uh, available tag from our opc server so if you go to info then you can see here waiting for opc clients to connect so connected to client so when we have uh, connected with our opc da server it shows that connected client so client is connected one client is connected with our opc da server and it is asking for available opc item for this configuration which we have made and whatever item it is available it is showing here so random is our tag which you can find here arduino serial zero dot random tag and it will return that tag to this 
opc client so that tag is here if i want to read the value then you can see value is here so item value minus 17697 you can also see that value here now if i close this and if i move that tag into default group and if i go to properties of the default group i'll change the update rate to 2000 millisecond i'll active that group and press ok now you can see here our value is updating at certain interval which is two second so my opc da server for arduino will automatically publish that value to my opc da client and my opc server for arduino is reading those value from my arduino uno so you can see this diagram uh, let me minimize this so we are sending the value from Arduino to our OPC DA server and our OPC DA server is sending values to our OPC DA client. So you can see here we are getting some values continuously at every two seconds. That interval we have set in the properties of our group. So this is how you can send some values from your Arduino to OPC DA server and from the OPC DA server that value we can read in any OPC client or any SCADA which is uh, having OPC functionality enabled. So this is how you can transfer your sensor data to OPC and then OPC client and this all is OPC DA it is not OPC UA. So I hope everything is clear about this video and you will find this code and all the software in the GitHub repository. I'll provide that link of GitHub repository in the description of this video. So if you have any question or any doubt, then you can ping me on Telegram, Instagram or directly comment me on this video or you can also send a mail. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.